this. For the first time, what is the word? Airplane. <gasps> so that's that's kind of cool. But it's it's not great. It's cool, but it's not great. Turn over that card. That's very cool. <gasps> How the... Hello there, all of you beautiful people of the internet, and welcome to another video with yours truly, the Cardmaster17. It's Wednesday, and that means it's time for this week's show, which is entitled, A Picture is Worth a Thousand Words. Now, I'm sure that's a phrase we've all heard before, and in this show, we are going to explore the idea of how easy it is to read minds and perform miracles when you use images in the performance. So, without any further ado, Sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. A picture is worth a thousand words. Okay, so recently, I've made discoveries in the whole idea of this mind reading business. And what I've found out is that it is significantly easier to get a read on things when they are either uh, common in images that everyone knows, or they are vivid and easy to draw in your mind. Um, so we're going to demonstrate that principle with something easy to start with. And it's going to be something everyone's quite familiar with and can imagine in their mind. And that's just a normal deck of cards. So what's going to happen is this is going to start with you shuffling the cards, please. Just to make sure there's no order in those cards. Nothing I've done. They're all completely standard and you can't really tell what order they're in. Um, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to deal four packs of cards. Um, and those are where cards will be chosen from uh, once, once she's finished shuffling. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deal four piles of cards. One to you, one to you, one to you, and one to you. So let me here, here, there, and there. Uh, two, three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 five. Um, and we actually can ditch the rest of the deck because we don't need it. So each of you can pick up the pile of cards that belongs to you, and you can just mix those in your hand face down. Just mix them up in your hand face down, um, and whenever you're satisfied, you can go ahead and stop mixing. Um, and once you're satisfied, I'll go ahead and take the top card of the pile, look at it, don't show it to anyone else, internalize what that card is. Burn it into your brain because it will be very important information in a little bit. You all know the card. Mix the cards in your hand a little bit more, so that card is now lost somewhere in the pile, and you don't know where it is. Happy? Okay, so I'll take your cards back. And now, you have thought of one of these five cards. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one, could be any of them. I'll take uh, yours back, and actually, before I do anything, I'm gonna give you that, because you're gonna need okay. that in a second. Now, you could have thought of any of those five cards. I don't know which one. No idea, but it's one of those five. Um, and I'm going to give you this for in a moment. I'll take yours back, and you could have thought of any one of those five. Don't know which one it is, but could have been any of them. Just give it another couple cuts like that, and then uh, you get one of these. And then I'll take yours back, and you once again could have thought of any of those five. Don't know which one it is, but it could have been any of them. Now the important thing in all of this is that at some point, got to give the pack one cut. And of course you get one of those. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deal those cards back out into four piles. The first card of each pile is going to be face down, like that. I'm going to deal the rest of the cards face up. As I'm dealing the cards, you may see the card you're thinking of show up. You may not see the card you're thinking of show up. It may be one of the face down ones. I don't know. Could be face down, could be face up. So some of you are thinking, yeah, I see my card. So maybe some of you are not seeing your card at all. What's going to happen is I'm going to turn around. Let's put this card over here for now. I'm going to turn around. When I turn around, you're going to take your little bit of card that you have, and whatever pile you see your card in, you're going to put that bit underneath the pile, so down here. If you don't see your card in any pile, you're going to put your bit up here by this card, just to let me know that it's one of the face down ones. Okay. All right, so go ahead. I'm going to turn around and put... Your, your little piece of card beneath the pile that your card is in. Oh, okay. I see. And let me know once you've done that. We're done. Good. You're good? Okay. Ooh, one of, one of them's face down. That's fancy. Okay, so, <laughs> the thing is, 
So I know two of you have a card here. I don't know which two of you it is. I don't know which two cards they are. One of you has a card here, and one of you has a card in one of these. So we'll go with, go with this one first. And now whoever's piece this is, I want you to think in your head, that's my piece. And now I want you to imagine holding your card in your hand. Hmm. I think this goes right there. I think it's yours. <laughs> is that correct? That's right. Okay, let's let's try. Let's go with let's go with this one. Um, again, if this is your piece, just think that's my piece. Hmm. I think it's yours. Mhm. Mm okay, we'll do we'll do this one over here. Ah, uh, let's see. Ooh. Oh, man. I think. Ooh, yeah, this one. Goes there, yes. and that's yours. So that means this card, this one up here, this is this is yours, which means your card's one of these face down ones. And I think that your card is over there. I want you to just think about what your card is. Don't say anything. Just think. Man, there's a lot of black cards. This is black. It's spade. It's one of the one of the spot cards. Kind of in the middle of the spot cards. I'm thinking six of spades. Yeah, I just have to double check. And there is the six of spades. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> We're going to try a really interesting experiment here, and this experiment's going to start with you shuffling those cards just to make sure that I don't have the cards set up in an order. Now, we've had the conversation about how reading the minds with images is significantly easier than reading the minds with words or anything like that. Now we're going to take that idea to the next level, um, because we're going to try to have you read my mind, along with me reading yours. So, happy with that the deck shuffle? Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to run through the cards like this, and whenever you want, I want you to call out stop. It's very important that you make sure I stop where you want me to, alright? So, whenever you want, just call out stop. Stop. Right? Right here? This one, one right here. One back. This one right here. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Go ahead and take that card. And show it, look at it yourself, and show it to the camera. We good? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and say stop once again. Stop. Happy there. Yes. Go ahead and put the card back right there. Fantastic. Okay. So now you look at the card. Now I'm going to look at a card, and I'll look at that one. Okay. Now, this is the part where you're going to attempt to be able to read my mind. So... You have your card in your mind. I have no clue what it is. You currently have no clue what my card is. I'm going to think of my card. I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and we'll see if you can get a read on what my card is. So, do you think that my card is the same color or a different color than your card? Same color. The same color. So, if your card's red, you think it's red. If your card's black, you think mine's black. Okay, uh, the value of the card. Do you think it's uh, my card is a higher value or a lower value? Than lower. Your card? Lower. Okay. Assuming all that information is correct, and that information you just got by reading my thoughts, I want you to go through the deck and pull out the card that you think is mine off of the answers you got to those questions. And just find whichever one you think is mine, yep, and just set it face down right there. Okay. Now I want you to think very carefully about what your card is. Hmm. 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 Think it's this one. For the first time, can you please say what your card was? Ten of diamonds. I got it. Now, my card was the three of hearts. And you got it too. Amazing! You now know something quite interesting. You can read minds too. Congratulations. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do one more thing with all these these images. Um and there's nothing too special about them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give some out to some people. So let's see. Uh, 
you can have you can have those and uh, I don't know you can have some of those and oh uh, let's see uh, these you can have those um, so now, without looking at them, because it's not important what the pictures are of, go ahead and mix those around in your hands. And once you're satisfied that they're mixed, you can go ahead and stop. Um, and actually, give give some cards over to her, so she has a few of them. Uh, maybe Thanks. give give a uh, pass one over there. Maybe short. Um, yeah, cool. You got two. Oh, How yeah. nice. All right. So, um, does anyone know what this is? Book. It's a book. Nineteen eighty four. Has anyone read nineteen eighty four? It's a really good yeah. book. Um, our society's kind of caught up to <laughs> a little bit. Wait, but our society's caught up to what's going on in it a little bit more and more. Um, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna use these cards, kind of like bookmarks. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold the book like this, and you're gonna slide your card face down on any page you want. Leave it sticking out a little bit. Okay. Um, and we'll actually, we'll turn it like, like this? yeah, like that. We'll okay. leave it just like that. Yeah, perfect. All right, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and put yours in. We'll fit them. Uh, yep, yeah, we're gonna put all of them in. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, we'll move one over here, and uh, go ahead and stick yours in just like that. Wonderful. We'll slide that around a little bit. Ooh, don't want to drop them. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And then I go ahead and put put some of yours in. Nice, great, wonderful. It's everything I dreamed it would be. And then go ahead and slide slide those in there. Wonderful, fantastic. Man, you guys are great at this. I'm glad I didn't have to do all this work. All right. So they're all they're all in there. Fantastic. Um, and now what we're gonna do? We're gonna play a little game. And this is going to be a game of elimination. So there's all these all these pictures in here. Um, we want to get rid of all but two of them. So what's going to happen is, on my turn, I'm going to point to two cards. And you're going to choose which one you want to remove. And we'll just set them in a pile off to okay. the side. Then you'll point to two cards, and I'll choose one to remove. And we'll go back and forth until there's only two cards left. So, um, I'll, uh, so my first choice will be these two. Okay. That one. So we'll take that one. All right, now you pick two of them. These two. these two right here. I don't like the ones that are on the bottom. I never have, so that was <laughs> Um, Let's go with these two right over here. Let's do that. That one. Okay, we'll get rid of it. Your turn. Um, how about these two? These two right here? Yeah. Uh, this one's lower, so we're going to get rid of that one. Um, We'll do this one that's sticking out over uh -huh. here, and this one right let's here. Get rid of that, one. that one, yeah, no one likes that one, let's be honest. <laughs> that one's a loser. <laughs> Yep, you're trying to get. Oh, my turn. Yep, you're, you're trying. Um, those two. These two. Ah, which ones? I can't tell which ones the other was. Just get rid of that one. It's close enough. And then last, uh, these two are on the side. So let's get rid of one of the ones. That's... Uh, let's do that. One. That one. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this card around over here. Make sure it stays on the okay. same page. We don't want to mess with that. So there's two cards left. One of these cards is for you, and one of them is for me. Which one would you like? This one. That one. Go ahead and take it out. Take that for yourself, okay. and you can add it to the pile. Oh, okay. So this leaves one card left. I'm going to spin this around. I don't want to touch it. Go okay. ahead and pick the book up and okay. open to the page where that card is. Okay. And then the, um, the back of the card, there's a page over here. I want you to look at the top line and let me know if you can see a word that you, there's a, you can make an image of on that uh -huh. top line. Okay. Okay, you, is there a word you can make an image of? Yes. Okay, I want you to think about what this thing is. Okay. Imagine it's, it's, a, it's a bigger thing. Pretty, pretty big, is that correct? Um, yeah. Something, it's something you use to travel, <gasps> but um, but you're not, you, you wouldn't do it to like go to the store or down the street. It'd be a much oh, bigger, yeah. bigger travel. So hold on, I think, I, I, think I, I think it's, don't look, but I think it's this. For the first time, what is the word? Airplane. <gasps> so that's that's kind of cool, but it's it's not great. It's cool, but it's not great. Turn over that card. That's very cool. <gasps> How the now now let's be honest. You might think, well, wait a second. Aww. I haven't seen all the pictures in here. Yeah, they're all pictures. Yeah, of maybe airplanes. they're all airplanes. Oh sure, they all might be airplanes. But let's let's take a look. So um. So I mean that's a picture of a sword. Aww. That's a that's a lighthouse. Oh. This is some books or something Jeez. over here. Um, that's that's <gasps> a golf club. Uh, this is like a, a clothespin. Uh, that's that's an easel. That's a 
light or something, and that's also a light. But there's only one that makes up an airplane. Oh my gosh! <laughs> spell it, oh spell it out! Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow. So that just about wraps up this week's show. I do hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, I would appreciate if you left a like on the video, leave a comment down below what you thought, and if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new magic -y goodness that's coming to the channel every week. And always, always, always remember, magic is everywhere, you just have to know how to find it. Have a good one, guys.